Hi, I'm Ree from mummyofpoor.com. Welcome back to my channel. And this is my beautiful Zara. And if you caught our birthday vlog from Zara's third birthday that we filmed yesterday, you will know that today is going to be Zara's very first day of school. School, that's right. Now, it, she's actually starting afternoon nursery, big school. It's called Rising Threes Nursery. They take them in the actual school the day after their third birthday oh, in the afternoon. You're too bendy. You're too bendy with your bag. <laughs> so that is what she's starting this afternoon. So if you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every... Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, 10 p.m. That's right. So are you looking forward to starting school? I know everyone's dying to know. Are you going to tell everyone what you're going to wear to school? Because probably not this Tinkerbell dress. I think we're going to change you out of that. What are you going to wear to school? <laughs> I think, girl, what are you going to wear to school? School... Ah. School what? Uniform. uniform. She did tell me this morning it was going to be school kit, which is close enough, isn't it? School uniform. Well, I hope we're going to have such a wonderful day. Zara has been to school group before. Now, school group was sort of like a play group. They ran for an hour a week for the incoming nursery before Christmas, which was lovely. And the mummies were allowed to go to school group as well, weren't they? But what happens in big school? Are the mummies allowed to go? No. No, so mummy's going to go home and do some... She's been saying for ages, mummy's gonna go home and do some work when I go to school. But you're not feeling very chatty, are you? So anyway, as it's afternoon nursery, I think we better go and get you some lunch now and then we'll change you into your school uniform. Are you hungry for lunch? Mm. Come on then. Sarah is now having a bit of lunch, so I am going to sort some laundry and explain a few things to you. Now, I'm fully aware that getting super emotional because she's going to school for two hours a day seems a bit excessive. However, I'll give you a bit of context. I had a big gap between my first two and I went back to like a traditional job and I worked outside the home. But since I've had Will, who is now eight, I have been at home and had my babies with me at home all the time. I've had very little help, meaning they've always been with me. I can probably count on one hand, and this is no exaggeration, the number of times I have driven the car without one of my children in it in the last eight years. So this is gonna be a huge adjustment. And it's not like I'm worried about being bored because I'm a work, work at home mum, you know, I'm pretty busy. I've got plenty to keep me busy. It just feels so end of an era and I worried about all of them when I dropped them off in school. I think that's quite natural. I think she's actually the most prepared the school out of all of them. So why am I sad? It's the same reason I was sad when I stopped my breastfeeding. If you haven't seen my stopping breastfeeding vlog, go and check that out after you've watched this video, I'll link it below. But basically, in that, I was super emotional because my babies weren't babies anymore. I wasn't sad about the actual stopping breastfeeding, it was just about that meaning that they weren't babies anymore. And I think this is the same thing. And the moral of that story was it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. God, I hope this is the same. I woke up this morning, my husband started talking to me about this, and I just don't cry. I'm aware this is not rational. I am a rational, rational person. I am not behaving rationally. The main thing is, I'm not telling her that, she doesn't make it like this. And as far as she's concerned, it's all very exciting, which it is. So I promise I will hold it together until she's in and can't see me anymore. Can't make any promises after that. Just going over Zara's bags and things to take to school. Obviously she's got her school bag. Everything is labeled with these little stick on labels from my name tags, which are great. I shall link those below, they're brilliant. They just stick straight on things. The machine washable and dishwasher safe after 24 hours. Amazing, no ironing and sewing. In her bag, I have got spare clothes. When little ones start school, even if they've been potty trained for ages, chances are they may have an accident. So those tissues I'm putting in, just in case. And I do need to put a drink in her bag. She needs to take a bottle of water with her. So I've got these sort of refillable bottles to take. Got her PE kit, which just basically consists of uh, shorts and a t-shirt in a bag that will be left in school. And her forest school kit. What's the matter, baby? Mummy's just 
you're taking all your stuff's ready. Look, we've got your forest school kit. And your school bag. We need to get you a drink to put in your bag ready to go. And then after school, we have got Bella's uh, ballet class. So that's Bella's ballet kit I've also got to take. And I'm going to take William to the library to return his book. So that's his library book bag. So we do have to take all of this stuff with us. That's not your school kit. That's your forest school kit. No, forest school is like... Um, like an outdoor learning area that they go to once a week. But you have to wear warm, snuggly clothes to go to forest school because because it, it's outside, so it might be a bit cold and it might be a bit muddy, so there's wellies and things. And that's your forest school kit in there. That's my forest school That is your forest school kit. Should we go and get you changed into your uniform? Because you can't go dressed like Tinkerbell, can you? No. You want to wear those new clips? Yeah. Yay! Yeah! Okay, Miss Zaza, it is time to get your uniform out. Which one are we gonna go for today? For your very first day in school. She's got a variety of uniform. Pinnavores and various, I mean, a lot of it was Bella's because I bought too much knowing that I'd get to use it all again. But Bella wore a pinafore on her first day. So let's stick with that, shall we? Come on then, Tink. Come on, Tink. Let's go and, let's go and get your uniform on and then we can put your hair in school plaits, okay? You ready? Why, why not? Why not? <laughs> you want to watch Ben and Holly? How about I let you watch Ben and Holly while I plait your hair? Mm. Is that fair? Okay, come on then. I always pack these little packs that you will have seen me packing yesterday in Zara's third birthday vlog. And I hang one of these with everything they wear over the hang of the uniform. I do one per day. Now, obviously, Zara doesn't need knickers and vest in hers because She's already wearing them because she puts them on first thing in the morning. Bella would also have knickers and vest in here. You're gonna bring me a hairbrush to do your hair, baby. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I have to make you notice me let me be real here when i see you my heart starts racing but i don't know if i like this chasing and playing and waiting around it's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me but this time this time Sarah and I have driven to the new house and we've picked up your pink car and we're gonna, I'm gonna walk to school, aren't we? Well, Sarah's gonna drive. If you see our new home renovation series and then we bought a house near the children's school but it is in the process of being done So we can't live there yet. But we can park there and walk from there, which is what we're doing, isn't it, baby? She did say in the car on the way here, she did not like that. But I said, of course you do. What, darling? In my car. Bella doesn't fit in your car anymore. It did actually used to be Bella's. Anyway, just very quickly before we keep walking, are you excited for school? Yeah. Oh, it's going to be so wonderful, isn't it? And you were very brave. You left Bunny in the car seat. I wasn't sure how that was going to go. Anyway, no cheating. Let me know in the comments. Is she going to be okay going in? Thanks, she pets now. Come on, then, baby, out your car. Let me take you into school. What a big girl. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, in we go. In here, yeah, in here. Whoop. Ready to go in. Good girl. Hello, lovely girl. Come on, in you go. <sighs> well, that's it. I dropped her off. She went in, she was actually, in spite of saying, I don't want to go to school all the way here. She went in, seemed very happy and quite excited. And quite frankly, she didn't look back. She ran in. I said, oh, hang on, I've just left her for a school kit hanging on the car, the pink car, I'll just grab it. And then by the time I went back to the door, she was already the other side of a partition that I couldn't see. And one of the teachers said, look, She's playing with the doll's house. I said, should I say goodbye? She said, I wouldn't, I'd just leave her. 
because she's happy. So that's it, she lets you run in and didn't look back, which, which is exactly what I want really because I know she's happy. God, that was screamed for 10 days straight and that was harrowing. So I'm delighted she's happy. <laughs> but that's not why I'm crying. I'm glad, I'm really, I am genuinely glad that she's happy. It's just, that's it, that's my last baby. Oh, sorry. I'm fully aware that there's nothing really wrong and this is an exciting time. I wanted to pick her up and I know she'd be okay because also I'm worrying that she's going to go, oh, Mammy didn't say goodbye. Which she could quite easily do. But the, the staff were very keen on not lingering goodbyes and because they just encourage each other to be emotional for me. They're keen on you just leaving as quickly as possible. So what I've done is for the best, I'm pretty sure. And why do I feel so sad? Last baby, that's what it is. It's just... I mean, listen. There's no one here. That is very, very rare for me. For the right years. And I'm sure as we adjust to our new normal, like I said earlier, I've got some other things sure stuff to do. I'm not going to be bored. I just feel a little bit lost about him. I have just got back to our new house and I have my computer. I'm desperately trying to use personal hotspot because obviously we don't have Wi-Fi over here yet to get some work done. But today is the very first day that there is any rooms finished at all that I could actually work in. So it's pretty good timing. So I'm actually sitting in Zara's room at the moment. I will do a full house tour which I'm filming tomorrow because I film those on a Tuesday. I film every week, you know, on the week um, from when we got the keys. So look out for that uh, when that goes live. And I'll do a proper tour. But for now, oh, 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 that's my website. That means my personal hotspot's working. Um, anyway, I've pulled myself together a bit now. Sorry for the outburst, sorry for the outburst. I'm just, I'm glad she went in okay. I really hope she didn't go, but mummy didn't say goodbye. Fingers crossed, eh? Anyway, I'm actually gonna make the most of this time and get some work done before I go and pick them all up. Just on my way back now to pick them all up from school. Now, even though they're all actually the same school, then the nursery class actually comes out five minutes after the rest of them, so I'll be picking up Will and Bella and then we're going to get Zara. The good news is that two hours flies by and I just literally got my head in the computer, got some work done. So time has gone quickly. I just really hope she's enjoyed it. I really, really hope that that she wasn't going, Mummy didn't say goodbye. Because I feel like it was the right thing to do not to insist on a big goodbye when she was happy and she was occupied. I feel like that was the right thing to do. But you never know, do you? You never know. So we can but hope. I shall ask the teacher for a full report. And let's just hope she's eager to go back tomorrow. And the other thing that's really cheered me up is seeing the progress on the house. I cannot wait to film the update tomorrow and show you so much has happened. Zara, how was school, baby? Good. Oh, can you tell me something you did? I did this. You did this? Oh, that's a beautiful drawing. Yeah, she yeah. even drew a What's carrot and a sun. Wow. wow. It's a colourful mouse. That's amazing. Oh, See, that's you... one of the best mouses I've ever can seen. Can you tell me? It's a bow, but I didn't do all of them. Can you tell me your peak and pit? What made you happy? Time. Can you tell me one thing that made you happy? Peak and pit. Can you tell me your peak and pit? What made you happy in school? Um, you. Oh, me. Okay. And what about your pit? Anything make you sad? Did you cry? Yeah. Why did you cry, baby? Because I wanted you. Oh, sweet up, but I've come back to get you now. Tessa. I've got you now, baby. Tessa, and you did Here with mummy. Okay. We don't need a couple of hours. 
so her teacher yeah. said she but had probably three of the three little cries when she realised her was there. But all in all, she did really, really well, didn't you, sweetheart? Mummy's so no, proud of you. The moral of the story that I want to tell you is that still looks good. hard as you might find a little one in school, pay. both you and they will and survive. And now all that's left to say is, if you like this video, please, please give it a big thumbs up. up. And, and don't forget to subscribe subscribe. and hit the bell to be notified when I post more videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Mummy, is that a hippo? If you want to watch more vlogs, they're down here and my latest video is just Mummy, is that a hippo? Bye.